Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Destiny 2 season of the Surfer video. It is Zerd Day, Friday, January the 13th, 2022, and Zert is back in the tower. So we're gonna hop on over here. We're gonna see what Zert has for us today. Once again, thanks for watching my Guardians. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now Zerk can show up in one of three different locations. Today, he's showing up in the tower. So we're gonna spawn in gonna head over here adjacent to Saint 14 and we're gonna finally see what Zer has for us today. Now as always my guardian Zer has returned the illustrious illuminous exotic and gram 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 so you can get out to all of those old exotics if you haven't already. Now of course we have our, our lovely random rolls one for the hawk moon and one for the dead man's tail. Let's go over our random rolls for the hawk moon. This week we have Chamber Compensator, Alloy Magazine, Opening Shot, and Heavy Grip, making this a very decent roll for PvE and for PvP. For the Dead Man's Tale this week, oh my god, we might have ourselves a god roll. Arrowhead here at break, we have Acarized Round, Substance to get our ammo back whenever we need, as well as Hand Lay Stock, excellent in PvE and in PvP. Our weapon of the week is the Soros Regime Auto Rifle Guns with the Soros Legacy. It's going to be pretty decent in PvE and in PvP. Thorfier's Rig is up next. It's going to be an exotic for that. Hunter Class comes with the Intrinsic Perk called Uncanny Arrows. Excellent in PvE and in PvP. We also have the ACD slash O Feedback Fix. This is going to be an exotic for that lovely Titan Class. Comes with the Intrinsic Perk called Fury Conductors. This is also going to be decent in PvE and not so much in PvP. I need a rework of my opinion. Next up we have a Phoenix Protocol Chest Armor. It's going to be exotic for that lovely Warlock class. This chest piece comes with the entrance of the protocol Battled Hearth. So if you're walking that Rail of Radiance, well then this is definitely going to help you out pretty good in PvE and in PvP. Our Chrysero Mello is going to be our first legendary this week. It's going to be Auto Rifle 360 RPM High Impact Frame with the Range Masterwork with some pretty decent traits on this as well. Pick it up and add it to your collection. We also have the Whispering Slab. Another bow is going to be pretty fantastic with the Accuracy Masterwork with some pretty decent traits on this as well. Definitely pick this up and add it to your collection if you're looking for a combat bow. Next up, we have a Giant 7 Pulse Rifle. 390, adaptive frame with the Range Masterwork, full auto, although he can go full auto pretty much with any weapon right now. But pretty decent trace on this one as well. Should be pretty good in PvE and in PvP. We also have a Cartesian Coordinate. Now this is going to be a 500 charge time rapid fire frame. Why am I blowing this up? This is an absolute horrible weapon, an absolute horrible roll. Hard pass for me on a Cartesian Coordinate and no. And next up we have the High Kilo Senior version 0.1.0.3. This is going to be a pretty decent sniper rifle rapid fire frame on this bad boy with some pretty good traits with the stability masterwork. Should be pretty good in PvE and decent in PvP. We also have a Triantial Linear Fusion Rifle. Highly slept on 530 charge time with a charge time masterwork with Feeding Frenzy. You're also going to get you a nice little boost with projecting fuse on that impact. This is pretty much a god roll. Pick it up, add it to your collection. Excellent. We also have the Keening Sidearm. Although it doesn't have really great stats on this one, 300 RPM with a reload masterwork. Does have snapshots on it. Still, you're firing this off in full auto, which you can. So it'll be pretty good in PvE and PvP. We also have our Wild Hunt Hood set for our armor and it's it's decent. You see the stats right here? They're a decent 64 for the chest piece. 68 for the boots, kind of in the wrong place right there. Only thing really good for Transmod is the helmet and the boots. Let's have a look at them. Here it is, the Wild Hunt arms. Decent, decent, hard pass for me. The chest piece definitely doesn't look good for Transmod. Bond is gonna be the Bond, hunk of metal, but the helmet is decent and the boots is decent as well. So if you're looking to pick up anything out of these armor pieces, boots, and the handle. So there you have it, my dude. That is what Zerf asked for this week for January the 13th, 2023. Happy New Year's, my guardians. It's not too late to say that. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? You're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here on Carpool Gaming. A little wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.